Hi. I'd like to demonstrate here this setup that we have. It's a self-healing setup using tape TB8100 analog only base stations and an external third party JPS SNV12 voter running over a simulated fiber network which will eventually be a fiber slash microwave network. This system here is completely self-healing without the action of any dispatcher. As you can see right now, we have a main and a setup, a main and a standby setup, voting over the JPS voter. Test one, two. When I key, I vote, I transmit on main. Test one, two, three, four, five. If I disable, my voter. Voter is now off. Test one, two, three, four, five. I now transmit on main and in cabinet or talk through repeater. The standby is still off. Test one, two. We add a beep at the end so that we know that we are in talk through repeater or in cabinet repeat. So you can hear. I go ahead and shut off my main. Main is now gone. Test one, two, three, four, five. I'm now transmitting through the standby automatically. Test one, two. And I still have a beep at the end of my transmission. As soon as my main, if I turn my main on, as soon as my main comes back on, you'll see as soon as this green light is solid, the main is now on. Test one, two, three, four, five. I'm now transmitting on the main. So we have fall back in cabinet repeat or talk through in cabinet or talk through repeater automatically between the two base stations over the network. I'm now turning on my voter again. And I'll demonstrate the main standby command given by the main transmitter or standby transmitter. Test one, two. So now I'm transmitting on the main through the voter. The voter is selected on the main card. For any reason, if the base station comes into trouble or has any alarm, it will automatically switch itself to standby. To simulate that, I will turn it off. As soon as I turn it off, I'm now on standby, automatically. It's telling the, the voter to automatically switch to standby. That side is now hung up because it's lost the status tone, and the standby is automatically keyed. As soon as my standby comes back on, with no alarms, alarms are cleared, we'll automatically switch to main on the voter. And now I'm keying on the main automatically. Now, these machines are networked. They're talking to each other via the network. And now in the event that we lose everything, we lost our voter, we lose our network, I'll go ahead and actually turn off. Now we have no network. All we have is two base stations, one side of the city, another side of the city. Test one, two. At the moment, we got both of them on till the timer kicks in. Test one, two, three, four, five. Now the timer has expired. The main is now the only one transmitting. The standby goes and goes to standby. Test one, two, three, four, five. We're keying only now on the main with nothing in between, just base stations, nothing in between them. If I shut off or if my main goes into alarm for any reason, standby automatically comes on. Test one, two, three, four, five. Now transmitting on the standby. Test one, two, three, four, five. The 
main comes back on, then the standby will, will know that it's on and it will shut off. Also, everything we're doing is logged and we also have a built-in voter display where we could see what sites are voted, how often, what sites are failed, how often, and we also will receive an email when these actions take place. So now we have a situation where we have both of them, so the timer kicks in. Looks like the timer about to finish. Now I'm back on main. And that's that. Self-healing system, automatic main standby, automatic in-cabinet repeat, or automatic talk-through repeater in the Tate world. All automatic, no user interface, no need for a dispatcher to switch to standby. Everything's maintained on its own. Everything's logged on its own. All the alarms are monitored on their own. A third person can receive messages, can receive alarms, can receive texts, can receive emails when these events take place, but there's no need for any human interface. Everything will be done automatically.